shifting gears now, the auto sector is seen as one of the major movers here at CES. So what's driving automobiles forward? Phil LeBeau joins us with a look at CES 2015's Car Tech. Mercedes calls it luxury in motion. The F015, unlike any car you've ever seen. Mercedes believes in the future, your car is not simply a place to go from point A to point B, but a chance for you to turn around and talk with others in the car in a way we haven't done in the past. What were you shooting for? Well, our relationship with the automobile is really fundamentally changing. This is an electric autonomous drive car with 26 inch wheels and windows coated with a special pattern to add privacy. It feels open. That was the whole idea here? Exactly. Yeah. Again, another way to think about that luxury in motion. Luxury is space. Luxury is comfort. It also has touch screen doors, so each person in the car can surf the web, email others, or look at what's around their car thanks to cameras offering 360 degree views. In this case, you can imagine I'm seeing what another person, another car up ahead is seeing. Oh, hey, I can talk to my friend and say, you got to see this. And he can actually see it. And you can see what's around your F015 even when you're not with it. So the app makes you to be connected to your car, to your autonomous car all the time. So for example, when you park the car and you want to know where it is, you click the 360 degree view and you can swipe through it and can always see where your car is parked, for example. Or when your car is uh, driving to pick you up, you can see where the car right now is driving. So you can always, in essence, you can watch your car at all times. That's true, yes. In the future, Mercedes is considering gesture controls and even more connectivity. Some of it will likely come through a touchscreen table that pops up between seats. It's a, it's a lounge that I'm taking with me as opposed to leaving behind. I'm here with Dieter Zetja, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz, in front of what is really the talk of the show, the F015 luxury in motion concept car. What were you thinking with this vehicle? Well, obviously, we are trying to define the future of uh, the automotive industry altogether. And we think this is quite a statement. Is autonomous vehicle technology moving faster than even you expected it to? I would clearly say yes, at least than I expected five years ago. Uh, and today, our cars in the showroom are autonomous up to 18 miles per hour. And we are waiting for the regulator to allow us to do more. Technically, we are there. So you're there. The regulators may not be there. Do we have fully autonomous vehicles driving around on the roads in the U.S. within five years? Um, I don't think that this will be allowed by that time and we have to think about snowy conditions, nights, uh, wet conditions. So uh, under normal conditions we are technically there but we have to address all these specific issues uh, and that will take some time as well. This is Audi's A7 piloted driving test car. We took it for a spin to see how the technology works. We're on the highway just outside of Palo Alto, California. The vehicle has let me know that it's okay for it to take control. I press these two buttons right here, an LED strip on the front dashboard as well as the instrument panel lets me know that the piloted driving technology is in control of the car and that's it. Now we are hands free, foot free. You can't see my feet, but I'm not controlling the acceleration or the braking of this vehicle. As we're driving down the highway here towards San Francisco, if there is a car that slows down in front of us and we need to lane change. There are 20 sensors in this vehicle that are measuring the other vehicles on the road. If it's safe to make a lane change, it will do so. Now this technology only works on the highway. When you need to exit the highway or you need to slow down and go into street traffic, the vehicle will tell us. Now we're turning right now. I'm not controlling the vehicle at all. But in about a half a mile or so, it's going to tell me that our next exit is coming up here and it's time for me to take control of the vehicle, which is basically pressing two buttons. 15 seconds. 15 seconds until it deactivates. I press these two buttons right here. Let's me know that I'm now in manual driving and I'm taking control. In fact, I'm gonna lane change here. Do it the old fashioned way, looking out the back window and make sure it's time to get off at our exit here. For now, this A7 piloted driving test car is just that, a test car. But Audi believes much of the technology will be incorporated into other Audi models within the next couple of years. Park yourself. 
BMW showed us the remote valet parking assistant. The car navigates on its own to find an open space in a parking garage. You don't have to drive around anymore. You don't have to look for a parking space um, that this car doing for you. Typically, no one would be in the car right now, but just to prove the point, I'm in the passenger seat and no one is in the driver's seat as the car tries to find a parking spot. Using a digital map of the garage, laser scanners search for an open spot, and if something or someone gets in the way, the car stops, then figures out a way around. It's a glimpse at the future. In five to ten years, automakers predict fully autonomous vehicles will be on the road. So it's going to happen, isn't it? It will. Back live now, you can see the car has made its way over here. It is backing into this parking space on its own. No one behind the wheels between the red car and the blue car, right between these yellow lines, doing a better job of parking than a lot of humans might do, myself included. Now, what happens when they need to get the car back? Well, the person with the smartwatch just pushes a button that says, pick me up. The BMW pulls out of that spot, works its way through the garage, and meets the driver at the exit of the parking ramp.